In today's video, we're going to be covering the FRSky's OTA function, which means it'll allow you to update your receivers over the air wirelessly. So there's a lot of advantages to this, especially if you're going to be updating. You don't need to unplug your receiver and do all these types of crazy things to, in order to get it to update. So what we're going to cover in this video is quite a lot, actually. So there will be timestamps down below. And the things that we're going to be covering today are the pre-check of the transmitter, updating the transmitter's firmware, downloading the correct firmwares for your module because now you're also able to flash through a external module which i'll explain more as we go along also downloading the firmware and finally flashing so with that being said let's go ahead and get started So the first step is going to be pretty simple. We're just going to check the OpenTX version on your current FRSky transmitter. And the way you do that is you hold both of these trims and you power on at the same time on most controllers and then just let go. And then you get this screen right here. And what we want to look for is right there, firmware 2.3.7. This is the latest and this is what will allow you to flash through an external module. Previous releases will allow you to flash through the internal module. But with this latest firmware, you'll be able to flash through the internal and external module over the air, which is something we want. So if you have anything below 2.3.7, we're going to need to update it. And that's going to be the next part of the video. All right. So the first step, we need to download a software called OpenTX Companion. And this is the software that's going to be in charge of updating your transmitter, also backing up your models. But we'll cover those parts later. Right now, we're going to concentrate on updating your FRSky transmitter. So I'll have the link to this down below. Make sure you download it and install it. Now, once it's installed, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to settings. And after settings, we need to go to radio profile and add radio profile. Now up top, we have the profile name. You can set that up to whatever you like. It doesn't really matter. The next one where it says radio type, that's the most important thing you need to get right here. And for my transmitter, it's going to be the FRSky X9 Lite. Yours might be the X9D or whatever it might be. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the correct one for mine. Next, we want to enable Flex R9M and Lua scripts. And basically, we're done. Let's go ahead and press OK now. And we go ahead and find this download button. Press download, download firmware and just save it wherever it's, it, it doesn't matter where you save it it remembers where it's saved so once we're going to flash then it'll do that automatically for us so the next step we need to do is we need to go ahead and grab our trims and put them on the inside like we did in the previous step and hold the power button and in this menu we have three options basically write firmware restore and exit let's go ahead and choose write firmware and once you do that, then you go ahead and plug in the USB. It's very important you do it in the same step because sometimes these don't boot up when they're on USB. Now, once you connect the USB, it should say USB connected. And the way to flash them is we need to go to this icon right here where it says write firmware. And we just double check everything and just click right and it should just flash. Now, mine was pretty quick because I already flashed it. So now let's go ahead and jump into the next step. So the next thing we want to do is you want to go ahead and download the correct uh, firmware for our receivers and or external modules. So for example, in our example, what we're going to be using is the R9M Lite Pro to flash one of the R9 receivers. However, you could skip that step, which I'll explain more in a bit. So first of all, let's go to the FRSky download page here. And what I have today is the R9MX, which is this one. And I'm also going to go to the modules which is going to be the R9M Lite Pro. There we go. So we've gone ahead and opened those up. And for the R9MX, I've already downloaded the uh, the firmware. And here we go for the R9M Lite Pro. We can go to the access firmware right there and you can just download the latest one. Usually it's the, the top one right here. And once you download them, they usually come compressed like this right here. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and uncompress it. So we're just gonna say extract files, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of these. Control C. So now let's take a look at what we have here. So we have three firmwares for the R9M Lite Pro module. And for our receiver, we have one, two, three, how many is that? Six firmwares here. So you can only choose one of them. And what, what happens here is you see that some of them end with FRSK and some end with FRK. Now the ones that end with FRSK are the ones that will allow you to do the over the air update, which you'll get to see and it'll make more sense in a bit here. So for mine, I'm going to go ahead and use the R9M Lite Pro Flex for the module. And I'm going to use for my receiver also the Flex. So I'm going to grab all these three right now. So I took my module and I took two of these. We don't need both of them. We just need one of them. But some PCs won't show you that extension. So just take both of them anyways. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take the SD card. Hopefully you do have an SD card. We want to take the SD card out of your transmitter 
and put those on the SD card. So once you plug in the SD card into your PC, you should get something that looks like this. And all we have to do is go into firmware. And if you don't have that folder, you can create it. There we go. I'm just going to delete everything that's been in here. All right. So it should look something like this, maybe just pretty much empty. So we're going to just grab those three and stick them on the firmware. So now they're on the SD card. This is the SD card that's supposed to go in our FS guide transmitter. So let's go ahead and put the SD card into our transmitter now. So once you go ahead and insert the SD card into your FR Sky transmitter, next thing you want to do is you obviously Welcome want to, to TX. is you want to go ahead and boot it. So once it's booted, you want to find which one is your menu button. And when you hold it, you should enter something that looks like this, especially on the new releases. Now we have the spectrum analyzer, the crossfire configs, we have everything here. So it should say tools. Then we want to go ahead and go to page. Then we're going to see the SD card area and find the firmware folder. Just click on it. And now we have our three firmwares right here. So first thing, since I am currently going to be flashing through my module is I want to update my module, make sure it's the latest firmware. Now, if you're not flashing through a module, then you could skip this and go to the next step. So let's go ahead and just quickly flash this. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Now you have to be very careful because what we want to do here is we want to do flash external module and that will flash our R9M Lite Pro. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for that to finish. And once that finishes, you should get flash successful. So now our module is running the latest firmware. So now let's go ahead and flash our receiver. This will work with both normal receivers that take OTA and also the ones that go with the R9M module here. So what we want to do is find the correct firmware that we wanted. Now you want to make sure you want to go to the FRSK because those are the ones that will allow over the air flashing. But before you do that, you want to go ahead and make sure you're already bound to the receiver. So make sure you bind and everything is set up correctly. So once you check your bound again, you want to hold menu. You want to go ahead and go to the SD card and firmware. And we're going to go ahead and do the FRSK. So I want this one. This is for my receiver. We're going to hold it. And now you can see you have a new option, which is called Flash RX by External OTA. Now, if you're flashing just one of the latest 2.4 gigahertz receivers, like the Archer M here from FR Sky, then it'll just say Flash by OTA. So yeah, it'll just say the word OTA. So find whatever one that says OTA. And now we're going to go ahead and click on it. And it should say waiting for RX. And I think we have to disconnect and reconnect it. So I'm going to go ahead, turn off the RX and then turn it back on. And then gonna click OK. And as you can tell, now we can go ahead and flash. And now it's flashing. So you do have to turn off and back on your receiver in order to uh, get it to flash. And now it's currently flashing. Make sure you do not interrupt this step or you could possibly brick your uh, receiver, which could be pretty bad. All right, and just like that, we're done. So that's it. It works the same way for both with a module and without a module, especially if you have the latest firmware set up. So it's definitely recommended to keep the latest firmwares on your FR Sky transmitter in order to remove bugs if there were any bugs previously. And well, that's going to conclude it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.